Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Place Flint Hook. Today I'm gonna try to get us to Nomad's Land. I mentioned this in a previous video, I think it might have been even the last episode, um, that I got to Nomad's Land off camera, but I wanna show it off on camera. Um, and then if we do it quick, we do it in one try, then um, maybe I'll do the daily challenge as well. We're gonna go to Bad Billy Bullseye, because it's the easiest level, and I'm going to equip, um, I have double armor, there we go. So I get two points of armor every time I um, enter a ship. And I got sub weapon here to try to get some snow globes, basically, because those are pretty useful. Um, yeah, so if you're not aware, the trick is basically that um, any damage you take um, cancels it out. So you have to go two ships without taking any damage, but taking damage to shields does not count. However, stuff like acid or... Uh, I think acid and fire will bypass shield, so you gotta be careful about that. Now I will say, um, to be totally open about it, I did try to just record this, and I failed. Um, the first time I tried it off camera, I got it on my first try with only using one of the shield perks. But I think the added distraction of talking while I'm doing it made it a little more difficult. You'll see me skipping through some rooms too. Um, all right, gotta be careful for those guys. Those guys ended my last run, actually. Um, yeah, you'll probably see me skipping through some rooms too, because if I don't have to kill everything, or I don't have to clear the room, I probably won't. The, the fewer opportunities for mistakes and failure, the better. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's actually really dangerous I discovered are bubbles. Um, trying to hit bubbles and accidentally hitting a hook instead is a real good way to take damage. Oh, that guy's. Oh, I really thought he was gonna hit me there. Good, alright. Made it through that combat room. Every room we make it through without taking damage is better. Um, and the armor does stack up too. So if I left this ship with two armor, then I would get two more in addition to that. No. We're gonna try to skip that area. Anything with a lot of spikes, skipping. We can, oh, this is a one way. Nah, it's just a, just a treasure room. Um, getting gold is still important, because I mean, you can buy armor. This, you know what, this room is actually not that bad. Um, you can buy armor, so that's kind of important. But um, if you don't have to take the risk, then um, there's no reason to. Good example here, sub weapon here. Uh, what's that? Pirate's deal. And, I mean, food items, of course, are totally useless, because if I take damage, the run's effectively over, so. Yeah, I want to watch out for traps. Use slow-mo liberally. And always start on high ground if possible, I find is a good way to prevent disaster. Now, I don't have ricochet. Which does make this a little more difficult. I'm used to having the range and ricochet, but I think having the uh, the leniency for mistakes while I'm doing the actual recording is probably more beneficial. There we go, we made it out of there. And secret rooms, of course, um, but I'm not just repeating myself. I, like I said, I just failed a recording. Um, it, secret rooms are also extremely good because secret rooms always have a shield in them. Nope, not necessary. Not doing it. Let's see. This is an easy room. It looks harder than it is. Just be careful about bouncing off those barriers. Alright, this is the end. This is actually a, a very tough boss room, actually, for level one. Now, there's another type of secret ship um, that I've heard about, but I don't know the specifics, and that is a ghost ship. Um, and I believe you get those by being cursed. Now, I'm not sure if you can do that through perks. Um, like, can you just equip, like, if you do, like, the random gambler perks, will that count? Or do you have to get perks, like, um, the devil deals and things like that? I don't know. Um, but that's another type of ship as well. And I believe that those don't even show up on the first level. And, of course, the other benefit here is we're still getting experience. Wow, I get two, uh, black market coins out of that. That's interesting. Um, yeah, we get, you know, we're getting more money. We're getting more coins and, and upgrades and things like that, so... Even if it's a kind of a repeat run of sorts, it's still pretty beneficial. 
And I mean, the game's just fun to play, so. Oh darn, I'll just have to play more Flint Hook. Shucks. All right, uh, okay, go battalion on board, loot. Oh uh, yeah, why wouldn't we go loot? I mean, this is a bigger, this is a bigger ship, but it'll be less risky. Also, I don't think I took even shield damage on the first level, so we should have four armor going into here, which means I can take four shots this level um, without ruining the rod. So we're in like a really good place to actually get this. Let's see if I can just manage to not screw it up. That's curious, did you see that? I only got, maybe three is the max armor you can have? Because I only got one there. I wonder, yeah, maybe three is the max armor you can have. That's interesting. Um, it's gonna, uh oh. I'm just gonna make this slightly more difficult. There we go. Should I actually get down here? There we go. Bats? Oh, we gotta get out. Oh no, those guys are gonna be stuck up there. Actually, in fact, I think I can. Nice. Uh, this guy is kinda tough. Good. And just bats, I think, for the rest. That should be the end of this combat. Nice. Alright, no damage taken. Good. Yeah, I'd be curious if we can find a secret room. I'd really like to test, you know, like, is is three the max armor? Because again, secret rooms always have a piece of armor in them. This could be a tough room with the bouncing spikes. I tend to get hit by... I get myself trapped with those. Again, money that comes close by, sure. Anything else, it's just gonna have to... Just gonna have to sit there. Good, we got him off before... Uh, <laughs> We got him before we could throw knives. Before he could throw knives off. I think is where I was going with that phrasing. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, Alright, safe to go here. Uh, this is risky. Worked out though. I want to upgrade... <laughs> Jeez. It was my voice after that one. <clears throat> I want to upgrade uh, Flint Hook's plasma pistol to have piercing shots like those enemies do. All right, wait for this guy to come over here. That you know, I was afraid of that. Again, we still have two armor, so not a big deal. But man, I do hope that that's something they're looking at um, potentially patching because that is probably my only true design frustration with the game is I end up taking a lot of damage from that. I don't feel like I should be taking. Oh, this is actually really good because then we can just get the hell out of here sooner. Alright. Um, actually, it's quite a ways to the exit. Alright, that worked out. Oh, okay. Did not take damage there. We don't want to need to go into the treasure room. Oh, there's a secret room. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to test um, the three max. Unless, if I get out of uh, this level without taking damage, then we might be able to. This is, this is a tough room. There we go. Well, okay, now I was gonna say, if there was only that first set of spikes, it's not that tough. When you get that to work, when you actually just get through a situation like that, man, it feels really good. All right, this guy, this is what I was concerned with. These guys are super hard not to take damage against. And I actually took two damage there, but um, again, it's, shielded, so. I guess we'll be able to test this way, too, because now if I go back up to three, then we'll see if I, if I, you know, if I get two armor on the next one, basically. But that's it. This should take us to Nomad's Land now, which is good. 
get our black market coin. I imagine this is how you get a better score too. My score is actually much higher now because I've gone to Nomad's Land. Nomad's Land is basically just full of gold. Um, I kind of—it kind of reminds me of like a coin chip in Mario Three or something like that. We haven't found any frost globes either, huh? Just thought about that. Um, yeah, so Nomad's Land. No detected variants. Um, we could pick something else, but that would be silly. Um, and Nomad's Land is actually not a ship. It is actually on land. Go figure from the name, right? Alright, yeah, so here we are in Nomad's Land. Now, does it, we get armor here, too? Okay, so the, the, the cap must be three, because we did get two armor there. Now, I don't know if the Nomad's, La man, oh, Nomad's Land map is always the same. Now, oh, there's actually enemy here this time. That's interesting. Uh, a lot of gems, too, you'll notice. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, again, if I take damage now, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I mean, it does, because I still want to finish the run. Um, this ghost is making it uh, certainly much more difficult, though. Yeah, that's Nomad's Land. It's just a short little area. Um, there's probably secrets in it, if I had to guess that I haven't seen yet, but I don't know where they are. Um, but it basically just adds an extra level to your score. It's basically an extra black market coin or two, more gold. Um, it's definitely worth going to, I would say, every single every single run. Um, it's pretty unlikely you're gonna die or take a ton of damage there. Having the ghost follow you into it is definitely more difficult. First time I went, I didn't have a ghost. Uh, but now we can go to the metal whale. Our Titan Trunk. Oh, well, that's a five star now. Let's just go to uh, the Titan Trunk. And uh, we'll go through here and maybe we'll get a good score because I've been doing fairly well. I've only taken one point of damage so far, or one hit. So we'll see. If I can beat Bad Billy Bullseye without taking a lot of damage, I might get a new high score here. And uh, for this level, I'll probably explore it fully as well and see if I can get as much gold as possible, kind of amp up that score. That also is very satisfying to pull off. There's a frost globe. Could have used you in Nomad's Land. Kind of a dangerous room. Oh, secret room here. Oh, I do have three armor though. What? Will it let me pick it up? Let's find out. It does and it just eats it. Alright, I mean, again, for science, it was worth finding out. But that is good information. Right, can you use the frost globe in here, maybe? Uh, you know, I'll probably honestly end up saving it for the... Uh, not the boss boss, but the the end boss of this level. Oh, uh, though, you know what? We'll use it here. These guys are kind of a pain. Probably deserve to take damage there. That was a little reckless. Nice. That was a pretty good room. Uh, let's see, let's go this way. Again, I probably will, ooh. I don't know, we've done this room before. It's scarier than it looks. Or, it's not as scary as it looks. I guess. I do seem to recall getting back out was more difficult though. Oh, we got a pirate zing. How about that? You don't often see uh, perks and treasure chests. It's really nice when it happens, though. Oh, that's... Oh, man, I am trapped. That... That sucked. <laughs> I got myself trapped in there. So we lost all three armor. That's a bummer. Oh, well. I mean, we'll get two more to fight... Uh... Oh, Billy himself. Alright, don't touch the floor. Oh my god, this level suddenly got far more difficult. Might also just be a little frazzled from taking damage there. Oh, I should easily have full health getting out of here at least. But it is gonna hurt my score if I keep taking damage. Yeah, we'll go through here. Pretty easy room actually. I haven't seen it before either. Ooh. Didn't get as much airtime there as I thought I would. 
This is actually quite a few rooms I haven't seen before. This is probably going towards the exit, if I had to guess. Oh, that's a that's a dirty trick. This this last this third ship got very vicious all of a sudden. Either that or I just got really bad. Right, we fought this guy a few times before. He's not so bad. Yeah, no problem. Alright, we will uh we'll explore here though. So it means I'll probably go all the way back. Uh, yeah, I'll pick up a piece of armor. I don't need the potion. I, you know what? I probably should have saved the armor. I should have waited until we were through here, because I could have gotten. Um... Yeah, that was that was not a good. How do you get over that? I'm missing something there, um, and that's why I shouldn't have picked up the armor. I should have just waited, so we could have carried it into the boss fight. Yeah, how do you get over that one though? Maybe I can get it on the way back. Compacted discus, yeah. I know how it is. Maybe I just need to fall further and get more, um, more distance to be able to get through that area. Because there is a momentum sort of deal that goes on. Is this room worth it? Definitely not. But we're up here now, so... Uh, I might as well just buy all this stuff. Money's not gonna do anything for me, I can't take it with you, so... I mean, I guess technically you kind of can in... I'm not gonna get into that discussion. <laughs> the, sh the short version of that was gonna be, you could bury all your money with you, but you'd kind of be a jerk. I would really like, I mean, I can just buy the potion, but I'd really like to get through this room. I honestly have no idea. It's gotta be a momentum thing? Well, I sure as hell don't know how to do it. I mean, it's potion for 10 health is, and you know what, I shouldn't have even bothered, because we'll get 10 health from the, the treasure chest here, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Nothing left to buy at this point. It doesn't hurt our score to spend money, so. Unless they always score differently, but I don't think they do. And we're up to six gems as well, which is nice. Or six uh, coins. I don't know. Whatever they are. Six green things. Alright, let's go fight Bad Billy Bullseye. Haven't fought him. Well, I mean, I suppose I did fight him last time I did this, but. Um, so only really be the, what, the third or fourth time I'm fighting him. So we'll see how it goes, hopefully well. And we will get two armor coming in here, which is really nice. Can I see my current score right now? Um, I don't know, maybe if I pause it. Because I'm curious. So I think my current high score is like 21k. I know we'll get um, a lot more of a bonus after we kill the boss, but... Oh, the dev room is here also. Okay, sweet. So this was the other thing I wanted to show off that um, I didn't get to. So it must be here every time. That's awesome. I really like that. Uh, let me check my score real quick. See if I can see that. No, I don't think so. But anyway, yeah. So there's a secret room here, right? Well, it's not just a normal secret room. It's a dev room. Which is pretty awesome. So I'll go and I'll, uh, I'll read all these and I'll have them on screen for a couple of seconds at least. So you can, worst case, you can pause the video if you don't catch it. And you can see all of these. There's Dom2D. Actually, uh, I just saw on uh, Twitter, Dom is going to be working at Square now, which is pretty awesome. Wait, did I, did I read hers? I might not have. I made more rooms. Okay, just to make sure. Your breakfast can make room for another egg. <laughs> yep. Indeed. Hamburger! <laughs> I like Jean. <laughs> uh, 
Indeed. It is? <laughs> and we have this fellow here. Pay tribute to the ancients and come sail away. Three days port, three nights starmer, travel up and down, north and south, throw away your possessions, then leap into the air. Heave ho, there she goes, the song of Black Margot. <laughs> Thanks, large fellow. There is one other thing in here, too. You notice there's a little arcade machine, and... It's the Tribute Games logo. I think that might be the Wizorb title screen. It's been a while since I've played Wizorb, but I think that's what it is. I, I believe it always shows Wizorb, too. Let me double check, though. Yeah. I think that's the Wizorb title screen. But yeah, so that's this dev room here. Very cool. Always like to see that sort of thing in games. They worked hard on this stuff. They deserve to put their face in it. It's a little more special than just a credit scroll, too. Alright, let's go, bad Billy Bullseye. I fought you before. I could fight you again, hopefully. Otherwise, this will be really embarrassing. Now, can I do it without taking damage? No. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's try, but it's just totally not gonna happen. Um, that's why, actually. Yeah, I don't, again, I still don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe if you're holding a direction, you'll always gravitate towards hooks, but if you're, uh, I was wondering if I could sneak under that. But maybe if you're not holding a direction, it'll always gravitate towards a bubble. I'm gonna have to try that next time he comes around. That might be the trick. That's a really hard trick to remember, kind of in the heat of the moment, but... That might be the secret to avoiding bad hooks. Oops. Uh, well, I might have been out of range there. Oh, there's damage. Nope. Yeah, I have no idea what the secret is. <laughs> can I throw a bomb at this? You can. I'm really lacking my uh, my range too. That's kind of hindrance here. Uh, I was hoping that would hit. There we go. Yeah, the longer that um, that stays exposed, the more difficult this becomes. Ah, man. Yeah, this is like a really, this first boss is just such a bad example of um, the hooking mechanics, I guess. It's so frustrating to try to hook the, the bubble and to keep hitting another hook. I don't want to beat that topic totally to death, but it does come up quite often. Alright, those are probably gonna hit me. Oh no, I'm gonna get out of there. Uh oh. I don't wanna die here. That would be quite embarrassing, actually. So let's, let's try to make it through. There we go. Probably gonna have to... There we go. Nice. All right, two more. Two more cycles. Certainly doesn't get easier. Yeah, not take damage, right? There we go. Oh, nice. I didn't actually think I was going to get that last shot there. Two more shots, and he's dead arena. Nice. We'll get our gold. Yep. Sorry, buddy. And let's see if we get our first score. Hopefully it's decent. Unfortunately, we can see our ghost friend swiped away once more. 
I agree, Funhawk. <laughs> now we get the fighting bell. And of course, it's the same bounty. Um, but oh, we got an extra booster pack too, in addition to the 11. Uh, so let's see how our score turned out. I do want to double check to see if these scores are total loot or current loot. I think it's total though. Would be nice to get a new high score. But I did start taking a lot of damage at the end there. And we'll get some levels of course, which is always nice. Got some more stuff unlocked. A lot of bonuses. Uh, oh no, I didn't beat my best score. Oh uh, yeah, it is total loot collected. Where am I ranked right now on this one? 181, it's not bad. Uh, let's check the relics. More smooth music for your bounties. What do we get new in the black market? Huh. Pink matter. A lucky charm. It costs a hundred. I wonder what that is. I, w I bet it does like nothing. Um. Yeah, these last ones get really expensive. Uh, I think we'll. Do we want to unlock the skulls? What else can we unlock here? We could get another perk. How much was this one? It was 15. We'll probably hold off on that. Um, so let's unlock the skulls. So now we have all the sub weapons unlocked. And we'll unlock another perk point. And let's just go check our booster packs real quick. We got a long shot. Okay, so that's the, the two-pointer. And a fling hook. Ooh, your mighty quick hook reaches further. That sounds extreme. That might be one of the best perks in the game. Uh, more fleet feet. Bullet time is pretty good. Another sub weapon here. Nice. Um, yeah, I really like um, Fling Hook. Where is that? I kind of want to just equip that and hope I don't forget to forget about it. We have a lot more uh, perks to get too. But anyway, yeah, that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Glad I could show off Nomad's Land in the dev room. And uh, if you like the video, click like. Helps out a bunch. Subscribe for more. See you soon.